Welcome on, on this demo. So we wanted to actually talk about a bit on the modernized app catalog for Viva Connections and SharePoint, uh, which is something which is a journey we've been having for a, quite a long time. And just to recap, my name is Vesa Yuvan and I'm a program manager in the Microsoft 365 platform side of the house. And Yi Han uh, is actually the owning PM uh, program manager on this feature. But because of the time zones, um, uh, and we don't yet have a one single time zone across the world. Um, I've been pushing on that for years. Uh, it doesn't seem to catch up. It's actually midnight on her location. Uh, so it's just fair that for me to actually show what's happening here and what is the new things. And we agreed that I'll, I'll take over this demo so she doesn't need to stay up too late. But anyway, so we've been working on this journey on, on modernizing uh, the store experience in the SharePoint and Viva Connections uh, for a quite a long time. And now we are rolling out uh, the modernized app catalog. Uh, if you are a tenant administrator, you might have actually already seen a message center post related on uh, the changes which are coming. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the key updates uh, which is happening in here. And I'm going to do a live demo as well on showing uh, the real new experience, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can see the experience now on the right side. Uh, so it's fully, completely modernized. I will show you the current or the class or the, the previous experience uh, so you remember and see how much work has been actually happening here. But basic idea of this location is to have a one place to upload, manage and deploy your SharePoint framework solution for your organization. Um, and that's basically for creating those custom components which can enrich and modernize uh, the UX uh, of the SharePoint or Viva Connection, uh, or actually Microsoft Teams as well. So um, it's basically for managing the SharePoint framework solutions, which are then targeting for Microsoft Teams, Viva Connection, and SharePoint. Now, the key updates in, in this area uh, can be divided right now in two different area, two different main points. Uh, number one being the modernized app request process. I'm, I'm going to show that one in practice today, so I'll kind of understand what this means and how things work. And this has been already rolled out to the production, but it not it hasn't been necessary necessarily super clear that it's actually out and what it means and and how it can be accessed and all of that. So we're going to do a live demo on that one today. And then the one which is now currently enrolling, so potentially Actually, if depending on rings where your tenant is, if you're in targeted release tenant mode, you might have actually seen this, or this already, but the whole app catalog is getting modernized, um, aligning with the administrative UX in Microsoft 365, uh, because the app catalog can be considered as an administrative operation, even though it might be a bit different administrator. So in, in certain cases, again, depending on customer sites, uh, if it's a larger customer, there are, might be dedicated app catalog administrators, which are not actually tenant administrators. So therefore there's certain, let's say permission level uh, considerations here as well. We're gonna talk about those uh, in the roadmap slide a bit. Now, before we go to the actual demo uh, and talk about uh, the upcoming features and all of that, I just wanted to actually recap what is the app catalog and how it looks like in the classic uh, experience or how it has been looking like until now. And this is actually, to be, to be honest, this is pretty uh, rough and, <laughs> and ugly. Uh, we haven't actually done significant amount of investments uh, in the app or in the store for many, many years until we started kind of investing much more on this area within one and a half years ago, if I remember correctly. But um, you can be pretty much see if I go one step back, that the experience which we can see here is looks like a SharePoint 2013 uh, UX experience. So there was a long time when the app catalog and the SharePoint add-ins, especially were not getting any investments. Well, technically SharePoint add-ins are not getting any investments even still, but SharePoint Framework is, and because SharePoint Framework is actually uh, using the app catalog uh, behind of the scenes and for deployment management, uh, that's why we are evolving this UX as well. Now, showing here uh, this one, uh, this is basically a screenshot uh, which you're going to see live uh, pretty soon as well. So um, this is a, the new modernized app catalog, which is then completely uh, changed and the features and capabilities are exactly the same. Uh, so you can still use, of course, the app catalog also for SharePoint add-ins. We're gonna talk about that one briefly uh, in the in the after the demos as well. And you can use it for SharePoint framework. And then as part of the app catalog, you have all of the different capabilities which you had in the classic, but we removed all of the complex UX ribbon settings and configurations and all of that. So making this more aligned with the standard administrative 
UX experiences um, so that it's super clear what you can do here um, and what's happened behind the scenes. Now, as I can see, absolutely brilliant question from Stefan, which I should have been uh, probably a bit more clear, is that this is not going to technically replace your existing app catalog. It will get modernized. So all of this is just that you basically, you don't need to do anything. The existing uh, app catalog will be, have just a completely modernized UX. So um, you, locations are not changing, status is not changing, behaviors are not changing, functionalities are not changing. All of the apps which you have already there will be there still. We're just overlaying the whole modernized UX on top of it and, and making it look much nicer. That's kind of the idea here. Now, before I go to the actual demo to talk about the end user acquisition process and then the operation, the administrative operations, and you see this one in practice. So it's not just pictures and smoke and mirrors. Uh, I just wanted to pinpoint that as well, that we have done some changes on the app catalog creation. It's still not yet fully automatic, um, but it will create itself automatically when you try to access the app catalog first time. So when you go to the administrative UX um, and you go to the admin settings, I'll show this one in practice in the demo it will actually click you click the apps which is a bit confusing um, or add-ins um, it will actually start creation of the app catalog and it will automatically create that to a url slash site slash app catalog so it will be then waiting on that url um, this this been no longer debate should we create this automatically for every single demand or not uh, but that's a separate discussion which we're not going to have on this call um, but that's a quick demo on on also actually on the speed so it's relatively fast to get it created um, which wasn't the case in the past uh, and also it's fully automatic so from the more features you click the apps and open and that starts the automatic creation of site collection if by the way the app catalog site collection url is already taken for whatever reason which would be super weird um, it's going to take another site collection url so it's okay all of that is taken into account now can we create an app catalog per site? So can you have a site collection app catalogs? Absolutely 100%. We're not going to take any of the existing features away. You can still have a site collection app catalogs. So all of those features are still in the future. Uh, in here, we're basically just focusing on modernizing the app catalog site collection experience and making it aligned uh, with the administrative UX. So let's have a look on that one in practice. So let me first go, uh, let's see if I can actually remember correctly. Yes, that's the normal end user. So in this case, I'm the end user. Uh, I'm going to start the flow of acquisition or acquiring a solution from the store. We're going to have a look on the request process a bit and then the administrative view, uh, view after that. But I'm actually now in a team site it's called Team. That was super imaginary, uh, really well named team site. Uh, and I can go now here and click new and add. And I can see the, the new ad experience. And I can also see what are the solutions, for example, which have been added, uh, or the solutions which are coming from my organization. And this would be solutions which have been installed explicitly to my app catalog, but are not coming from the store. And then, uh, of course, I can acquire uh, uh, features from the store as well. So let's see here, Skybo is quite cool. Uh, List Burst, uh, that's actually a pretty cool uh, solution as well. And it has even Viva connection uh, capabilities on it. So as I'm an end user, and currently uh, you cannot, as I'm an end user currently, you cannot acquire any SharePoint uh, framework solution from the store because, because quite often SharePoint framework solution do require administrative permissions and they need to be approved by the administrator to get installed on a tenant. That's kind of a security uh, uh, reasons as well. So as I'm an end user, I can request uh, that uh, solution to be added and I can add here something like uh, our business people would like to have this show sales based on region so that request is then being sent to the administrator so me as an end user uh, i can of course go to my requests i can see what are the solutions which i've been requesting to get uh, acquired and to get available in my tenant and then the administrator actually takes the, takes the risk is responsible of making decisions are we going to do that are we going to not do that now i can see the requests here and of course i can go to the sharepoint store or i can go back on the the site uh, from the my apps or back to the team from here so i can go back on the sites uh, as well now 
by the way, in the team store site, uh, you will see a lot of lot of changes in the future as well. So because again, we're pushing heavily the Viva Connection story uh, in multiple fronts. Uh, so we're trying to make sure that if partners want to have their solutions in the store and they will be surfaced in a multiple locations in a most efficient way so that partners get value out of their store submissions. Now, I have now two items requ uh, requested uh, as an end user and let me put a different hat on my uh, role. So I'm the administrator now. So different role and I'm in the administrator admin view. Uh, if you go back in the in the admin center, uh, we need to go to the app catalog. So Viva Connection and SharePoint app catalog, which is under the SharePoint. A bit confusing again, because you could actually have SharePoint framework solutions, which are targeted for teams in here, but that's something that we're working on the future as well. So I can click more features and then I can click the apps from here. So when I click the open, it will either create the site collection or it will redirect me to the site collection, which has been already created, which is the case in this, uh, this tenor. Um, and we can see immediately the new site collection and the new features and, and where we have um, all of the new cool filtering mechanism, view mechanisms, all of that available. And we can see that it's actually fully modernized. So it's aligned with the admin UX, uh, which we have across the admin operations. And of course, when I do operations or details um, in the app level, then the experience is a bit modernized as well. First of all, quickly on the app requests, let me go in there. There's a pending set of app requests, which is list bursts and charts, and those are the ones which are pending. For example, each chart uh, is a really cool uh, solution, uh, also works in Microsoft Teams, well, targeted actually even Microsoft Teams. Uh, and we can see that the request was based on that. We can see the details and we can request and approve that to be acquired. Um, and that will then start the acquisition process of the solution. Uh, me as an administrator, I will be presented where the data is uh, hosted, what are the permissions and all of that. And I can confirm that to be available uh, in the tenant. And that then, of course, makes the solution to be available in the tenant for the end users to use. Now, for a lot of the questions, I'll follow up on those, by the way, uh, a bit after my demo. Uh, one thing also to notice is we modernize the fact that uh, it detects if you have APIs which you need to approve, uh, so we can actually jump to the API access page directly in here, because in this case, solution requires APIs to get approved before it works. Uh, the UX is showing that, and then encouraging the administrator to go to the API access page to actually approve them. Now, coming back on, on here, if I go on Manage Apps, all the features have been modernized, but of course, all the features which we have are still the same. So I can still track and drop, for example, SharePoint Framework solutions from, from development environment or from uh, file system directly to the tenant, um, and I can install those solutions. And as part of the installation, the messages, um, all of these are exactly the same as they were, um, but again, it has been modernized, so it's more clear uh, the text has been updated um, and I have more control as an administrator what's actually happening uh, as I'm approving this solution to be deployed. So as an example, in this case, we're going to do a tenant scope deployment for that web part. So pretty simple and easy to do. And again, it had API requests, so I can actually go to the API access page uh, in here. Now, the one thing to notice also uh, is that the whole UX has been modernized, so it's no longer looking like a SharePoint site collection. And there's some ideas in here. I'm going to talk about that one when I go back in slides. But the key point that uh, is that you can actually see even access to API, API access page, the administrative location to manage the APIs uh, from here. You can easily access the store. You can easily access the SharePoint admin center. So it's more aligned on the administrative operations, even though, again, app catalog administrator might be a different person than the SharePoint administrator or the tenant administrator. And we'll talk about that one in a second. But that's pretty much quickly recapping uh, what do we actually have in here. And again, if I click that one, it will show me the API access in the SharePoint admin center and all of the requests related on my applications, which I need to, or if I want to, I can get them approved. But much, much, much nicer UX for sure than it was actually a while back. Now, let's go quickly on the slides. I'm not going to spend too much time in here, um, but just a recap on what are we actually doing. Uh, 
first of all, uh, what are the next steps for SharePoint Framework Solution and App Catalog? So we keep on investing in here. So uh, you can, in future, you can acquire Viva Connection and SharePoint Solutions directly from Microsoft App Source. It's pretty crazy that actually that that's is not supported currently, which is mind bubbling. Uh, Viva Connection App Type will be in App Source, so you can easily find them. Viva Connection Category will be in store and in App Catalog. So you can kind of start thinking abstractions on top of that App Catalog. So it's more about the Microsoft 365 hosted apps and then where are you targeting that in Viva Connection or SharePoint or in Teams, it, have, it will have a different views. We're working also on auto update on SharePoint Framework Solutions from store. So if you're an ISV and you have a newer version there, and the administrator allows that auto update to happen, um, that's going to be happening behind of the scenes if if you wanted to choose to do so. Um, showing additional metadata details in SPFX solution uh, also in App Catalog is available. That's something which is working for solutions which we acquire from the store, but as I'm installing solution from local to the App Catalog, uh, there's this kind of a disparency or difference between the icons and descriptions and all of that. Uh, end user acquisition for SPFX solutions is in planning. Uh, in roadmap, site collection app operations in modern UX are going to be modernized. Integration of SharePoint Framework App Catalog to admin UX is in plans as well. Now, this will happen whenever we can actually have more granular based access in the tenant admin uh, operations. So you can then dedicate individual sections of the Microsoft 365 admin UX, for example, for your app catalog administrators. And then the final note um, before we go to the next demo, I just want to call out, um, we are investing in all of this from the perspective of SharePoint framework um, and as, as the primary location. So the SharePoint adding model hasn't really got that much, uh, well, no investments uh, within many, many, many years. And SharePoint Framework should be the UX level replacement. And then if you have a separate application which is connecting to the uh, SharePoint Online or anywhere in Microsoft 365, please use the Azure AD based permission management uh, and access points on that. That's the right way of doing things uh, in the future. And more guidance on that one is, of course, in the works. But that's all I have time to go through uh, within this demo. I'll answer some of the questions which I did not have time to answer during the demo. Yes, yes. there's a long list of questions about uh, provisioning and what happens to the previous store and a lot of other things. So yeah, if you want to take a look yep. at those, Vesa, if we need to have a full session on that too, um, I'm sure we could uh, schedule some time for that as well. Yep. Excellent. Thank you so much, Vesa. Great to see this and appreciate everyone sharing their comments, questions, and other feedback into the chat window. Thank you.